Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Investigator, and this was a game that was made in just two weeks, which is really crazy because, look at it, it looks really, really cute, it looks like the graphics are pretty good in it overall. Uh, apparently this is about an investigator alligator named Investigator, as you see there on the screen, and there wasn't any title screen or anything like that, it's just a game that throws you right on in, and I I guess this is sort of like a point and click adventure style game where you just have to solve a crime. So let's go ahead, let's jump in. It looks really, really cute. Hmm. <laughs> I love the talking already. Do you ever walk into a room and forget what you were going to do in there? Oh god, there's the crime scene. It's all bloody. Uh. Oh, that was it? I was going to solve a crime. Oh, okay, we, we actually get to like move around and stuff. Oh, this is so cute! I love it! <laughs> there's a door that has footprints that are bloody footprints leading right to it, and then there's a bloody mace here on the ground. This is really cool! Alright, so what happens if we investigate the footprints? Alright, if we click it... Footprints! They seem to be leading to somewhere. Or maybe leading from somewhere. Or maybe leading within somewhere. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling already that this is not the brightest detective. Um, okay, let's, uh, examine this. Oh, there's a different icon now. Oh my word, it's a mace! Who would leave this lying around? Someone could stub their toe! <laughs> that's, that's what you're concerned about? Alright, what happens if I click the gear icon? This is dangerous! Oh, I got the mace for some reason. I'd better put it where it belongs. That's like tampering with evidence, dude. You don't want to do this. Crime gelatin. Oh, God, we're walking in the blood, and we think that it's gelatin for some reason. Is it actually just like gelatin? I don't know what this stuff is, but it means that a crime happened. <laughs> oh, man. All right, another gear icon. So if we click this, are we going to get some crime gelatin? I really should mop this up, but I have nothing to mop with. I'd use my face, but that doesn't work. Yeah, don't do that, man. That's very unsanitary. <laughs> I know from experience. Oh, he's done it in the past. Oh, my. Okay. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Inexplicably photorealistic trash. <laughs> okay. Um, it's the inexplicably photorealistic trash. I'd investigate it, but it's kind of smelly. Plus, the high resolution gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, me too. I love that that's in there. <laughs> that's funny. All right. There he's got this little pedestal here. Might as well investigate it. What's going on with the pedestal? Ooh, and it's moving us in nice and close. Is this a story element? Oh, no. It just means that we can examine it up close and personal. Crime do droplets. Oh, man. They're everywhere, guys. Suspicious. Was this left by the criminal? <laughs> I love how dopey this guy is. It's really cute. My proudest possession, this ancestral timepiece, blah, blah, blah. I guess a big clock was here? Huh? Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's a missing clock now. So someone murdered somebody with the mace to get the clock is my assumption. Because I'm a good detective. I'm a good investigator. There's a big painting. What's going on here? Hey, this painting looks a lot like the guy who owns this place. What a weird coincidence. <laughs> oh, man, is that all we can investigate with the painting? Interesting. All right, what happens? Can we go into the other room that we came from? Exit. All right. Uh, that's the exit. I think that's how I got in here. Oh, my God. I can't leave yet. I haven't solved the crime. Oh, okay. Well, we can go to the door then. This door, where the footprints lead. A door! I have lots of those back home. Oh my god. Alright, can we open it? Please? Oh! Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> it's my brother, Instigator. Oh god. He's gonna be the bad guy. His name's Instigator. It has to be the case. Here in the closet, right next to the crime. <laughs> hey. Hiya. Uh, why are you here, red stuff, the criminal stole a clock, or catch you later? Um, let's go with, why are you here, dude? What are you doing here, of all places? Are you here to help me solve the crime? Oh my god, investigator, come on, man. Uh, yeah, I'm here to do that. That thing you just said, the crime, solve 
solve the crime. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, good. You're always such a big help. In fact, if you run into any evidence, bring it to me so I can help you, you know, with the crime. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so goofy. I love it. It's really cute. Red stuff. What's that red stuff all over you? <laughs> what, this? It's ketchup from a burger that I ate. Oh, man. <laughs> you always were a messy eater. Some of those stains never washed out. Do you think that's ketchup on the floor, too? Oh, definitely. Whatever this crime... Uh, whoever did this crime is definitely... Are uh, clearly a big Chup fan. Chup fan, I love that. Sorry, I'm having trouble reading mm -hmm. here, guys. Hey, that's a clue. Oh, what, that they're a messy eater? <laughs> or that they're a ketchup fan? Good God. The criminal stole a clock. Mm -hmm. I figured out what the crime was. Someone stole a clock. Great work. Hey, on a completely unrelated note, if you ever need to know what time it is, I've got you covered. Mm -hmm. Good to know. All right, catch you later. Mm -hmm. Catch you later, instigator. You'll never catch me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I just love the sound effects. It makes it so much better. I trust you completely. Oh, God. All right. What's this? Oh, blueprints. Uh, let's look at those. They're blueprints. In order to break into the house, first acquire a... This is too boring. It can't be a clue. What? Wait. Okay. Well, let's take that. <laughs> Item get. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we can probably present this to Instigator, and he's going to be, like, confused while we have it. What's going on here with the mace man? Covered in ketchup or blood? Hey, I found this mace on the floor. What do you think I should do with it? Oh, that's definitely not important. You should get rid of it ASAP. Good advice as always, bro. <laughs> get rid of it? Okay, I guess we can throw it in the trash or something. And then what happens if we show you the blueprint? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I found these blueprints next to you. Do you know anything about them? Don't read those. They're not important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they seem pretty boring. <laughs> so we have, like, the answer to the entire murder, mystery, theft, whatever happened here already. But, oh, he slipped back into the doorway. Can we actually go into the doorway? <laughs> That's so cool that he, like, goes in and out like that. Nope, we can't go past him. Damn it. But... Uh, our, our detective is too stupid to solve it, even though we have all the, uh, the answers right here. So we can actually put the mace in the trash can? I'll put this right where it belongs. The trash! Oops! Oh, and then there's stuff under here. Okay, photograph. Sure, we'll grab that. Look at this photograph! <laughs> it's a photograph of my brother, here at the crime scene. Item get, yeah! Wait, this means the culprit is a photographer. God damn it, investigator. <laughs> oh, some ketchup? Oh, now it's called ketchup. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, should we wipe this up with the with the blueprints? Is that what we should be doing? I feel we're definitely, like, messing with the evidence at a crime scene, but sure, I guess. It gave us the option, and it said earlier we need something to wipe it up with, so... Good thing blueprints are known for their highly sponge-like properties. <laughs> Cleaning all that ketchup up? Yep, no sense leaving a crime scene messy after all. It's important to get things back to normal. I couldn't agree more. Don't miss that spot over there. Good catch. So we're basically helping cover our brother's tracks, even though <laughs> even though we should be busting him. And then there's this little thing on the floor. What's this? It's a scale? Looks like a clue. I better check it out. Oh, so it's um probably our brother's scale. It's probably instigator's scale. Even though it's a different color than what he is. I guess it's covered in ketchup, so that makes sense. A scale? Mm -hmm. Hmm, that can only mean mm -hmm. the crimester has red scales. Mm -hmm. I'd better take this in as evidence. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. So the criminal stole a clock and left Chup everywhere, and there's a photograph of my brother reaching for the clock on the crime scene, <gasps> and I found a scale in the puddle of Chup on the floor. Did you finally figure it out? Figure it out through some, like, sort of roundabout way, man? Because that's I'm hoping so. Ooh, I think I know who did it. I can't wait to tell my brother. <laughs> all right, we got all the evidence. Now we can finally bust our brother. Here you go, instigator. We're going to freaking, here, show you this photograph first. Hey, I found this photo of you in the trash. You know what this means, right? <laughs> ah, that's right. The criminal is a photographer. <laughs> God, Jesus. Did you happen to see him? Nope, sorry. Sounds like you're on the right path, though. 
Oh man, trying to throw us off the off the evidence, huh? Here, instigator. Well, guess what? It's not gonna work, man. We got uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff to give you now, and by a whole bunch of stuff, I mean just like all the evidence that we've already compiled and shown you. Hey, hiya. Uh, I figured the whole thing out. I caught you red-handed, instigator. Show me the timepiece that you stole, instigator. I figured out who did the big crime. Uh, well, you see... Ah, backpedaling now, are we? Don't try and hide it. I'm certain there's a reasonable explanation here that clearly proves... It was you! What? Wait, what the hell? You're pointing to the wrong person. Did the door? The door didn't do it. What are you doing? Uh, what the hell? Is that a fish? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, red Herring is his name, and he's a red herring. <laughs> he's got a burger, he's got the clock around his neck, and he's got a freaking camera. So all of the evidence that we just collected ended up being right in some weird, stupid, roundabout way. Oh my god. So it was an instigator this whole time. Darn it, you caught me. How'd you figure it out? <laughs> no, seriously, who is this guy? How'd I figure it out? Mm -hmm. Just intuition, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he told me he'd done the crime right before I came in here. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't do it? <laughs> yeah, instigator's just as surprised as I am. I could have sworn I did it. Well, this sucks. Guess it's prison for me. <laughs> I'm extraordinarily confused. Chell, it is. Er, uh, where is that again? Oh, I know the way. Here, I'll show you. That would be great. I, um, I guess I'll just finish up here. See you at home tonight. <laughs> I really thought it was me. Yeah, me too, instigator. What the hell? That was the game. <laughs> that was really cute. I like that a lot. Um, like I said, this game was made in only two weeks, so I'm actually very impressed by everything that came out of this. Like, the 3D art uh, was very, very good. I like the sound effects. Like I said, I love the talking sound effect that was going on here. And the art, like, everything in this game was just really, really cute. And uh, I like that it ended up being, like, this wholesome ending. It wasn't actually his brother who was a murderer or anything like that. It ended up being... The fish, the red herring, the whole time, uh, eating a burger and taking photos and stealing a timepiece. So, yeah, uh, red herring was given 30 consecutive life sentences. Something uh, got lost on his way home, but eventually found his way back. Sorry I didn't read any of that. If you guys wanted to read it, you can obviously pause the video and read those. But that was a nice little epilogue there. <laughs> this was a really cute game, though. I like this a lot, and... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.